What's up guys, today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Portavision by Radio Shack. This is a cool old school 5 inch CRT. Um, I'm going to be going over when it was released, the overall design of it, some of the ports it has, and then just my overall opinion. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so before we talk about the overall design, let's talk about um, when this was released. So this was released in 1998 and had a price tag of $250. So it's definitely um, a little expensive when it was released, um, you know, comparing to just other sort of mini TVs and stuff like that. So it was fairly expensive. Uh, so now let's kind of talk about the overall design. So you got some buttons right here. You got a tuning button, another tuning button. And that's, I'm guessing you use that when you use the antenna. The antenna doesn't work because there's no actual cable signals off of an antenna anymore or something like that. They just discontinued it. So that does not work. But you got these buttons another channel call button, a definition or like output button. I've switched it when I use it and it doesn't make a difference. I'm guessing it's for something like with the channels. And then the volume rocker and also on and off switch. So when you switch it on, it makes kind of a weird eerie noise, but you know, all TVs like this do that. Um, I mean, once you turn up the volume, it's fine. But then you could adjust the volume and then also when you hear that switch, that means it's off. When you hear it again, when you hear it this time, when you're pushing it this way, it's on. And then that way, it's off. Right now, it's not plugged in. You can get a power supply that was included with it. I don't have it. This is the bottom of it. It has a little kickstand right here. You don't need that. That's what it's like without it. But I just like to leave it on there. But um, yes, you came with this like power supply that required like 9D batteries or something like that. That plugged into the back, but I don't have it, so kickstand at the bottom but yeah let's kind of get into the overall design so you got radio shack port vision the buttons i've already talked about there we got some i guess adjustment buttons i don't really know what you'd call that we got tint color contrast bright and headphone jack and then we have a nice single speaker right here then on the back we have the external antenna output we have av the tv slash monitor switch and then the dci or barrel jack input Nothing on this side, and then we also have the antenna, which is right here, and this just goes up, and it sticks up fairly high, but once again, it does not work. You can use the external antenna port that uh, is on this to use, but you have to, like, get an adapter and stuff like that. I just haven't really cared enough to do that, um, but yeah, a little sticker thing on the back there, too. Now, let me get the power supply real quick. Let me plug it in and show you some of the uh, footage of what it looks like. Alrighty, so now that we got this plugged in, well, actually, I don't have it plugged in. I kinda wanted to show you guys my uh, power supply right here that is included with it. I don't think this is the actual one that came with it. This is just the one that I have when I got it. It is a 12 volt power supply, I believe, right there. And um, yeah, it's very big. It's, I mean, this thing's huge. Don't really have a brick on me right now to compare it to. But, um, I don't know. Here's a pencil, I guess, sure. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big power supply, so. If you're planning on putting this somewhere like a car or something, make sure you got room for this. And then this is the output it uses, or how you plug it into your TV, right here. It's like the little barrel jack plug. So, let's go to the back of the TV and plug it. Alrighty, so we're at the back of the TV. Right here is where we have the little barrel jack port. So you just simply plug this in there, just like so. Is it not clicking all the way? All right, so it is not clicking all the way. And then now, you get your AV cables that you got. These are my N64 ones. Um, it doesn't really matter. I know there's an extra red one, but you don't need to plug that one in. Because obviously, there's not a port to plug it in. So you just simply plug it in like so. And then you switch it to monitor mode. Uh, make sure it is on. Right here, I'll kind of zoom in. I don't know if you can see that. Well, you kind of can. There's a TV switch and then there's a monitor switch. Make sure it's on monitor. So, yeah. Now let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like. Alright, so now that you got your, uh, whatever it is, a VCR, DVD player, I got a video game console plugged into it. You switch this guy on. It does make it eerie noise. And then you switch your thing on. And it should pop up, just like so. So let me adjust the contrast and stuff like that a little bit. There we go, that's pretty good. I like it just like this. So now, let's play some Smash Bros. One player. 
And the speaker sounds pretty good. I'll turn it up a little bit. For a single speaker, that's not pretty bad. I think it sounds pretty good. My analog stick's super loose. One sec. Sorry if it's doing that refresh thing. I'm not very good at Smash Bros. Alright, well that was quicker than I thought it would be. So this is what the N64 looks like. Um, the wording and stuff like that's a little hard to read. Like where it says special bonus, that's kind of hard to read. But um, yeah, this is kind of the quality you get out of it. The only thing, complaint I kind of have is that eerie noise. But uh, let's kind of plug in something else, like the Wii or something like that. So I got the Wii hooked up to this because that obviously uses AV. Um, the only thing is it's getting a little jittery than usual. Um, so if it looks a little odd, that's why. But the, like the lettering and stuff like that, that's how it normally is. It's pretty hard to read. I could try and adjust it right here. Well, let's see if we could adjust it to make it maybe look a little bit better. So it's about color. A bunch of color. Let's see, that's fine. Um, that's the main, probably, another fault I have with this, is that it, it's fairly hard to read, uh, lettering. So let's go ahead and get into GameCube game. I know I'm playing a GameCube game on a Wii. Alrighty. So, let's play a little bit of Crazy Taxi. So, the picture honestly is pretty fine. The main hard thing that's honestly that I don't like is it's kind of hard to see in front of you. So, for racing games, this isn't the best. I mean, I don't really think this was designed for this. This is probably just designed for like movies and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. Um, and then lettering. Lettering is fairly hard to read. So, that's another kind of complaint I have with this. But besides that, it's not that bad like, for how old it is. Um, I definitely can't believe, though, that this used to be $250, but I'll kind of stop talking and just let you guys watch some of this gameplay. So my final opinion on the Radio Shack Portable. I think it's cool for its time. I definitely think it was a little ahead of its time, but it is still a cool piece of history or something like that nonetheless. Um, it's kind of too big to have a portable, but it's also not super huge. So you kind of have to weigh it out for yourself if you, you know, would want to get this. But I do think it's cool nonetheless. And um, yeah, I think it's cool that you could play old video game consoles on it and stuff like that. Or you can watch TV if you get like an adapter. Um, the only cons I have with it is, once again, it's a little too big to have it portable, kind of. And then the other con I have with it is it kind of makes the eerie noise. All TVs like this make it so it's not like a lemon or something like that. It's just kind of a con to throw out there. But, um, yeah, I really think that's it. I think it's just a cool piece of history, and it's still cool to have. But, you know, it's not the most necessary thing in the world. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.